So I want to do a new little video series where I take you through each one of my books because people often ask uh, what's the difference between them. So I want to start with Wake Up to Sleep. This is my fourth book. Um, this is not a lucid dreaming book. It's not a shadow integration book. It is a sleep book. So this is essentially my book for people who are working with sleeplessness or insomnia. It has got a couple of chapters on lucid dreaming within it. And actually those chapters are, are really solid chapters around using lucid dreaming for trauma. But most of this book is for people who have stress or trauma affected sleep. So this is based on the workshops that I've been running for military veterans uh, for the last seven or eight years now. And what we found was the techniques that we used to work with military veterans and other highly traumatized populations worked very well for everybody, uh, partly because most of us, almost all of us, I think, are carrying some sort of trauma, whether we know it or not. So this is not kind of a sleep hygiene book. All of that stuff like, you know, sleep hygiene tips, I don't patronize you with that in this. This is about working with the biological mechanisms of good sleep. And that begins with the nervous system. So this is a book primarily based around breath work around deep relaxation, NSDR, non-sleep deep rest, yoga nidra, um, learning how the sleep cycles work, a process of um, really deep depathologization of what good sleep is. Because I think a lot of us are kind of cursed into bad sleep because of this myth of the eight hour sleep cycle. Now, when you spend as much time as I have working with highly traumatized populations who are averaging three to four hours sleep a night, max, Telling people to get eight or nine hours sleep a night is unhelpful and unrealistic. So we're working with science-backed techniques which can directly help to regulate the dysregulated nervous system that is keeping you awake at night. So if you or anybody you know is suffering with sleeplessness or insomnia, this is the book for them. Uh, there will be a lot of stuff in here that most people have not uh, looked at yet. Um, it is uncommon practices for insomnia rather than the standard common kind of sleep hygiene techniques. Basically, sleep hygiene is, is fine, right? But it's like changing the outer world uh, to try and get perfect sleep. Now, you can make all the changes you like to the outer world, but unless your inner world, your nervous system uh, is not soothed and relaxed, you are not going to get to sleep. So this book is based around changing the internal environment of our body and our brain so that sleep can happen naturally because sleep is a natural phenomenon which will occur in the absence of stresses that prevent it from occurring. 